So hopefully by now you're used to using a WHERE clause to filter rows based on some condition. But a WHERE clause does exactly that. It operates on each row one at a time. A GROUP BY creates new rows, or a row, for each group, but it happens after the WHERE clause executes. So if I wish to filter groups, not individual rows, but actual groups based on some condition. I need some sort of a WHERE clause for groups. And SQL pr provides such a WHERE clause via the having. So uh, let me go here and, and show you exactly how this works. Group by, let's group by other countries again. And let's suppose we want to find the countries that have, I don't know, a lot of people in it that order from us. Oh, again, I can't select contact name. All right, so let's let's find the countries that have a lot of people that live there that order from us. So I can say having here, and again, I'm writing the having after the group by because the having is going to execute after the group by. I'm saying having, uh, let's say count splat, having count splat greater than 10. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing here on a number. Run it, and it looks like France, Germany, and USA all have more than 10 customers here. Again, I group the customers into their countries and count them all. I say having counts splat greater than 10. Now, it's very possible I want to see those counts as well. So I can say count splat up here as well. And so now I see that, oh, okay, France and Germany have 11, USA has 13. And you would think, well, here's a count splat and a count splat, and maybe there's some way I could alias this maybe as uh, num customers, and then take this and reuse it down here where, or having, sorry, having num customers greater than 10, but it gives me an error, unfortunately, because um, the select has not occurred yet, even though we should write the select first. Again, SQL is an old language, and, and so we actually write things a little, a little bit out of order from how they execute. And select is one of the last things to execute. In fact, it is the last thing to execute before an order by. Order by is always very last. Having, so in that case, this this is kind of useless. I have to dupe my expression down here. It's unfortunate that I have to do that, but that's how that works. Now, just to drive the point home a little further, that where operates on individual rows, whereas order or having operates on groups, I have pulled here all the products, and I've ordered them by their category ID. So notice category ID 1 has several products in it. I'm going to drop a where clause right here, where unit price greater than 10. So notice that's going to that's going to eliminate like the four dollars and fifty and the seven seventy five. In fact, let's let's raise it a little higher just so we eliminate more rows. Here we'll get rid of um we'll get rid of the four four fourteen dollars here and stuff like that. So so now we have fewer ones, few category IDs ones, and again that that was simply done by the where clause here. And then um, let's drop a group by in here. Group by, let's group by the category ID. ID. And then let's just say, um, let's let's keep the groups with the most products in there. So we are, we're finding roughly the groups that have, uh, well, exactly, that's what we're finding is, is the element, are the elements that the unit price is greater than 15. And then I want to say, well, count the number of leftover items. And if that is greater than five, I, I want to see... I want to see those groups, so let me bring this down here so you can see the whole query. So select splat from products. Well, I can't select splat anymore because I'm doing a group by. So let's find the let's select the category ID, and then again I want to oh, let's just say count splat here so that I can I can see my results. So so again before we group the elements into certain groups, we eliminate those products that are just dirt cheap. Then we group them by the category IDs, and then I only want to keep the categories that have more than five items in them after I, el I have eliminated all the cheap products. So I'll run that query, and looks like uh, categories one, two, three, four, and eight. So five, six, seven don't don't qualify. Once I eliminated their cheap products, or maybe even before, they have less than five items in those groups. So again, where operates on individual rows, having operates on groups.